Okay, I can't get a cover right here. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another DVD unboxing for you today from me. I am completely sick and I am literally in pain, but I'm going to try and get through this the best I can. So here it is. At long freaking last, Spider Man Homecoming has finally arrived. Oh, yeah, finally arrived on DVD. I am really happy. It's like. When they first announced Spider-Man was coming to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I was blown away. I was surprised. I was excited. I knew he was going to be in Civil War. He was great in Civil War. He was going to get his own solo film. The first time that he that two big distributors are working on a big fucking movie like Spider-Man: Homecoming, and certainly it all paid off, and it paved the way for the for a brighter future with Spider-Man for the for the. Um, for the character itself and for the rest of the MCU going forward. So here it is. Here's Spider-Man Honka. Here's the DVD cover. And I don't believe I've seen this pose before from any of the marketing. Now, I could be completely wrong. I have forgotten everything about the marketing from Spider-Man Homecoming. I do remember this Iron Man is from the original theatrical poster. The um, cluster fucked one. And... Um, yeah, but I really like the design, you know, seeing Spider-Man and Iron Man teaming up, and Iron Man's kind of like a, kind of like that selling value, yeah, this is connected, you know, because you kind of need to know, tell people, yeah, the Spider-Man movies are connected again, you know, they are sharing the same universe again, of course, having the Avengers Tower also in the back will help boost some, some, some sales for anyone who sadly was living under a rock when Spider-Man Homecoming was coming out. And for the first time, I believe, for a Marvel Studios film in a long goddamn time, there is no DVD on the top. Now, this is because... It was Sony Pictures Entertainment Home Media Release Department that was releasing this movie, not Disney. So, um, yeah, that's why the difference. Also, here's a funny fact. In one of the reviews, it says right here, Sean Edwards from Fox TV. This is really hilarious how Disney is working with Sony to bring a new iteration of Spider-Man to the big screen as well as fitting it to the larger MCU. And on the DVD cover, they bring in a Fox-related review. Yeah, we're living in really, in really real to hashtag X Men Fantastic Four coming to the MCU cover. <laughs> so here we have the side, and of course the logo itself. Really, I really like the logo. And here we have like a little, little funny shot of you know Spider Man. I guess this is kind of replacing the whole because you know usually we get a, like a picture of the main actor like right here. So I guess they're changing it right now to include you know I don't know why. Here we have the back Spider Man eating pizza. I was just eating pizza today. Actually, is this a pizza? Yeah, it's a pizza. I guess we live in New York City. Um. Yeah, so bleep, um, the a brief um, plot synopsis. We got to see Tom Holland as Peter Parker. By the way, amazing actor, amazing performance. I think he's my he's the he's the spe the best Spider Man ever since Tobey Maguire. I guess that's my opinion. And of course, um, the um, the fresh certified um, symbol. So let's open this up. Oh, oh God, yeah, the fantastic, fantastic. This is awesome. This is really awesome. I, mean, I get it. It's just, it's just a, d a design for the DVD. I mean, uh, you can see the rest of the gray mark, but this is fucking awesome. I, I love it when people give dams about DVDs. Uh, here we have some promotion for the official Spider-Man Homecoming app. I wish I could get it, but my phone's a piece of crap, so I can't really download it because of less lack of space. Turn around, you get um, a coupon for some cookies. Um, is it a... Yeah. Some cook cookies. Um, some promotion for getting the other Spider-Man movies. Um, the original trilogy, the original trilogy, on um, and the duology for the original Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man on Blu-ray and 4K. I already own them on DVD. I don't need to buy them again. Um, the virtual reality experience, um, free on PlayStation VR, Vive, and Oculus. And uh, the Regal Cinemas. Um, I'm trying to think if there's not a code here because I really don't want to. Uh. No, no, there, there isn't. So, I think that's up. Yeah, that's it. So, honestly, yeah. So, overall, my opinion of Spider-Man Homecoming, it was a great freaking movie. I think so So far, I haven't seen Ragnarok. I haven't seen Justice League. I haven't seen Star Wars Legend. Those movies haven't come out yet, so my opinions could change. But I really do believe Homecoming, for me, is the best movie of 2017. I'm saying that right now, as of October 17, 2017. So... Honestly, a great movie. If you haven't seen Spider-Man Homecoming, please, 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 please watch it. It's freaking amazing. I can't stress that enough. I really can't wait to see Spider-Man again. And Avengers Infinity War, the Untitled Avengers 4, and of course, the eventual Spider-Man Homecoming 2. All coming out very soon. I'm really fucking happy to be a Spider-Man fan. And I'm really happy to see where things go forward from here. Um, Spider-Man Homecoming, you can get it at Target and Best Buy for around 18 bucks. Again, a little steep for a DVD, but again, then again... What are you going to do, really? It's a Marvel movie. It's one of the biggest movies of the years. Of course, it was going to be a little bit overpriced. 
And that is it. Always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like DVD unboxings and you like mine, please subscribe to the channel for more. Like this video. Share the video with your friends. And as always, thank you guys once again for so much for watching. I will see you guys soon. Peace.